A transportation bill passed last year was one of the biggest measures in Colorado's history. This week, it hit a roadblock. Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez explains. This bill is for you. It was a big bill with even bigger promises. It's to finally fix our damn roads. Senate Bill 260 aimed to transform Colorado's transportation with $5.4 billion to update roads, expand mass transit, and cut down on pollution. We have not adequately addressed our transportation funding in 30 years. So in order to accomplish all of its promises, Senate Bill 260 relied heavily on fees. Fees on gas, fees on deliveries, fees on ride shares, and more. But in 20 20 voters passed Proposition 117 that said if lawmakers want to create new fee based enterprises and those programs will generate more than $100 million in the first five years, then they, meaning the voters, want to have a say in it. To avoid that, lawmakers split up the fees, putting them into one existing enterprise and four new ones. That is not a tax increase, and so we don't have to go to voters. But even last year, when debate on the bill was underway, Republicans questioned whether it was legal. And now, because of some slight language, you're saying we can do it. Something the bill's backers were asked about at its unveiling. They designed this in a way that will withstand any kind of court scrutiny. Fast forward to today where that idea is about to be tested. We believe that it's they did so illegally. Jesse Mallory from Americans for Prosperity has joined a group suing the state over that bill. They think they found a loophole. And this is why people have such distrust in politicians. The lawsuit claims SB 260 violates Tabor and Prop 117, but also single subject laws in the state. In our constitution, there is a requirement that you can only have one subject in either a bill or a constitutional amendment. Senator Jerry Sonnenberg was bred out of frustration, quite frankly, is also part of that lawsuit. He says because there are so many different enterprises, there should have been different bills. If you follow the constitution, and you pass it in five separate bills instead of one giant omnibus bill? Absolutely. Sonnenberg and Mallory say the state needs to either ask voters or prioritize transportation with state funds. The state has now $37 billion budget. They can find a way to fund transportation. The governor's office and bill co-sponsors declined to comment on the litigation, but told Denver 7 last year the bill doesn't violate Prop 117. They're also delaying some of those fees with bills this year. We're open to additional fee relief. But if this lawsuit is successful, it could mean starting from scratch on Colorado's transportation funding. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.